My name is Driscoll Rampart. Dr. Driscoll Rampart III, to be precise. And this is the year of our Lord, 3040 AD. When I finished medical school on Earth and it was time to do a six-month internship off-world, I drew the short straw and was assigned to a remote clinic in a faraway outpost called Rusta. Rusta was a strange place, to put it mildly. Ancient machines called regulators hung in the sky like metal volleyballs. They were supposed to control the weather. Most of the time, they did. The whole planet was divided in two by a great wall. On one side was darkness, on the other, light. So that there was no dawn, nor was there dusk. A civil war raged between the peoples of the light and dark sides, and a peace accord was about to be signed. That is when this story begins, nine long months ago. She was sleepwalking. I'm sleep bathing. It's after midnight, you know. The air is so dry lately, I can't sleep. Yeah, it's those damn regulators. Mm. They'll be servicing them soon. Mm. So, girl. <laughs> yeah. mm. You know, I think the twins inherited your insomnia. Bedtime stories are becoming novels. <laughs> Sweet girls. Zuzu's nervous about tomorrow. The kids always tease her so. Dr. Ricardo said he had a new medicine. He seemed hopeful. It just seems so cruel that the virus would affect one twin and not the other. She's a tough old girl. Mm. Just like her mom. And on top of everything else, the first day of school. <laughs> don't you remember what that was like? No, I don't. <laughs> it's a complete blank. I've forgotten a lot of things. I really think you should help me remember. I remember the first night I arrived, or should I say the first day, because on the light side, there is no night. <laughs> I was drunk as a skunk on those little bottles they give you on rockets. It took two days to get to the clinic by coach. I had lots of baggage <laughs> and demons. It was a bumpy ride. Driver, stop the coach. Driver, stop the coach! gonna be late. Where is she? She'll be along. Mom, make her hurry. <laughs> Zaza, did you take my pen? Why would I take your pen? Well, you'll have to do without it. I'll look but for mother. it while you're at school. But mother. <laughs> Come on, sweetheart. In the buckboard. Mother, how's my hat? Is it pretty? You look lovely, Zuzu. <laughs> Don't fuss. She has a massive crush on Rory Bedeker. Shut up, Zaba. <laughs> Good. Goodbye, girls. Bye. Bye. Good. Good. Bye. I miss you. I love you. I love you. Oh. Let's go! 
An alarm. The, the marshals will be here any minute. I know. I know. Please. That's a girl. Come Please on. don't. I... That's a sweet girl. I, I have two small children. I know. That's a girl. All this light. All the time. Not to just give you a big old headache. What do you want? I'm a little teapot, short and What's stout. that nonsense? Old earth rhyme. Don't you like it? I'd like something sweet. We never get anything sweet anymore. I have some biscuits. Want to hear the rest? <laughs> I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle. Where is my spout? <laughs> I was the new kid on the block, taking the old intern's place. He was going back to Manhattan. Cocktails at 21, right where I wanted to be. But what was six months anyway? I could do it standing on my head. Well, well, New York, here I come. Give my regards to Broadway. Sorry I couldn't chat more. Gotta get to that ship or I'll never get off this place. You seen him yet? The great man? Mm. I'm afraid I've not yet been granted an audience. You'll do all right. You're lucky. Looks like the peace accord's finally gonna happen this time. Last six months have been pretty hairy. Mm. But this close to the wall, you see a lot of action. The wall? What wall? <laughs> You're kidding, aren't you? The wall between light and dark. It, it, uh, anyhow, you'll get great trauma experience. Those arrows, they can do a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. <sighs> This has been the worst year of my life. Funny thing is, I can already feel nostalgia setting in. Kind of like gangrene, huh? Ha! Ah, you've got a sense of humor. You'll need it. Good luck, then. Adios. Oh, and tell all my friends on 42nd Street that I will soon be there. Dr. Okada will see you now. Mm. Hurrah. <coughs> mm. Back where I'm from, we used to have this thing called the Peace Corps. We're a working clinic, Doctor, not a sanatorium. Of course you are. Who's the boy? A patient. Awfully young. What's the matter with him? He has Proteus syndrome. I'm not familiar. Let's not keep the doctor waiting. Sir? You brought your summer suit. Well, wise choice. How was your trip? 
Like six weeks in a dentist's waiting room. <laughs> I just like traveling in rockets. <laughs> and now the root canal begins. Yeah. Uh, welcome to the rest of Dr. Rampart. Thank you. Hmm. You know, this whole clinic could fit inside the waiting room of the hospital I trained in on Earth. <laughs> That'd be a hell of a trick. I'll give you this much, though. It's clean. It's very impressive. Not quite as miserable as I'd hoped for, but I don't see that as being too much of a problem. You don't? Well, it's important for me to come home with certain uh, stories. I'm not exactly following you. When I leave this place, I'll be starting my own private practice in New York. Now, any Park Avenue doctor worth his salt has done a little stint in the outback. Oh, society patients, they demand it. Oh, they wouldn't even consider seeing a doctor who doesn't have a war story or two about a certain sojourn in the remote medical armpit in no offense. None taken. Uh, a, a primitive planet governed by a white dwarf star system. Well, it just seems so promising. I understand you have a dirty little war going on here. A civil war between the light and dark sides. Really? You see, now that I can sell. <laughs> Settlers. And we wounded a coachman. <laughs> a coachman? What a catch. He had a passenger, sir. A doctor from the clinic. One of Akata's interns. Better. He could not have survived. Tell me more. Sir, quickly. It's the stagecoach, Dr. Windsor. Doctor needs you. They murdered the settlers and ambushed the stage. They got the intern on his way to the rocket. Let me go. Help me hold it down. Doctor, hold his arms. Oh my God. 
No, I just met him. Damn it! Hold him still! I can't get over this. Give me pressure. Please don't let me. 54 over 26. We're losing him. <laughs> suction. Give me suction. His lungs are filling with blood. Give me suction. Oh my God! Leading out, sir. Tell, tell my friends on 42nd Street. <laughs> Poor son of a bitch. He was going back to Manhattan, all right. Only not the way he wanted. I thought I was done with death. I was afraid all over again, but didn't want anyone to know it. So I soaked the fear away and did my time. Hello there. Quite a storm, huh? It's the machines that hang in the sky. Um, they're breaking down. They're called regulators. Not regulating so well today, though. Amanda? How can it be? Oh, I've missed you so. I don't understand. Have you seen our son? I have been looking everywhere. Forgive me, darling. I never meant to. Two great ladies will catch your fall, for they are the ones who catch us all. Never? That's enough. Go to your room. I didn't mean anything by it. I said go to your room. Yes, sir. Never. What are you doing? I are you all right? Myself, I'm sorry. I'm fine. We're still trying to teach him control. That's one of the reasons he's here. His mother is a very wealthy woman, and where they come from, they consider Proteus Syndrome a stigma, an embarrassment. He tricked me. Well, never isn't like most shifters. He does more than just mimic shapes. He can reach down into one's psyche and pull out a rabbit or two. The woman he became. Uh, if you don't mind, sir, I need some sleep. Uh, I need to be fresh for morning rounds. Excuse me. Good night. Sleep well, sir? Not really. It's a little tough when midnight looks like high noon. Why, things are tough for you all over, aren't they? Mm. It's moving into the peritoneum. Prepare for surgery. What's wrong with him? He's a fisherman from the grottoes under the dreaming sands. There's a parasite there called the godhead. It enters under a weakened cuticle while the fishermen cast their nets. Sir? I'm going to take you back to the water. So how has he been treated? Trying to shrink the thing before surgery, but it's an angry tenant. Doesn't respond at all well to a notice of eviction. Have you tried Gorgonitol? Well, yes, the shipment's overdue. We're more dependent on cargo ships than I'd like. They seem to come less and less. This place is so backward that even a simple parasite is life-threatening. Oh, there's nothing simple about this one. Certain enzymes of the brain are found in pools where the godhead spawns. That's where it's heading, to the brain, to lay its eggs. And then it dies? Not before attempting a journey back to the grottoes, dragging our friend along like a snail with a broken shell. Vitals are stable, sir. Get me a tissue glove. But, sir, it won't protect you. I'll stay south of the head. Get me a tissue glove. What's happening? Get a bat ready. Please, tell me what is happening. What is a tissue glove? You'll see soon enough.
quickly. Akata adopted the twins. We buried their parents near a place called the Sea of Tears. Zuzu was already sensitive about the way she looked. Her parents' death was a blow I didn't think she'd recover from. Zuzu, you haven't finished your lunch. Not hungry. Shibana, how long do we have to stay here? You can stay as long as you like. We're going to take care of you. I don't want to stay in a hospital. I want to go home. Where did Mommy and Daddy go? When they, they died? They went to the waters, to the Sea of Tears. That's a lie! They're dead, that's all, there's nothing more! Zuzu! Why'd they have to do that, Shivana? I don't know, darling. I miss them. I hate the dark side. No, Zaza. Don't hate. You must. But I do. I do. I... Oh. It's all right. Okay. Go on. Go on. Do you live here? Oh, no. Just temporarily. My mother's coming soon to take me home. You don't actually think I live in a hospital, do you? I guess not. Are you that little girl's grandmother? She's my sister. How could she be your sister? Because she is. If you must know, she's my twin. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know you were patient. What do you mean? Well, obviously you have a mental disorder. You're a very rude boy. Oh, hey, I know who you are. I'm only teasing you. Awfully sensitive. How far to the governor's hacienda, sir? Around 10 kilometers. <laughs> oh, we call that regulator's cough. It'll go away in a couple of weeks. How long have they been there? How, how long, Marshal? 10,000 years. And the people that made them? Who said they were people? <laughs> Ooh. Whoa. You'll be fine from here, sir. We're too far in for any trouble. Thanks, Marshal. When did they put up the wall? 500 years ago. Before that, people traveled freely between the sides. I imagine Darksiders to be quite uh, <clears throat> primitive. I'd love to interview one, hmm. strictly for the memoirs. Have you spent much time there? I'm from the dark, sir. Come on. No! Yeah. Akata, does Governor Twist really intend to sign the peace accord? I certainly hope so, but Twist is a stubborn man. So I'll let you handle the examination. Oh, no, I don't have much practice in seeing patients. I'm just the type you want to cultivate. Your bread and butter clientele, a rich and powerful hypochondriac. It fit right in on Pork Avenue. Um, that's Park. What? Park, not pork. Pork is swine. So it is. Hmm. Oh, I suppose I should warn you, he, he can be a dangerous man. What do you mean? Well... Like everyone with a little power, he does tend to kill. Not with any great frequency, but you don't want to get on his bad side. Shall we go in? Two hours late. Where were you? Just think about I'm not compelled to give you an accounting of my whereabouts. And who is this? The new intern, Grisco Rampart. Terrible tragedy. What happened to the other boy? Damn dark side savages would skin us all. And the king of all people, Joyce, the betrayer. You don't really believe this cultist propaganda, do you? 
Well, why not? Then you are a bloody fool. The two ladies, why let him talk to me that way? Take off your shirt. Proceed, doctor. <sighs> uh, what seems to be the trouble today, Governor Twist? I, I think it's my pancreas. I have a, uh, a pain right here. How long have you been wearing that? I've been receiving important guests, punctual ones, I might add. And I have to look my best. I'll pay it to Governor. <clears throat> Does this mean you'll be walking away from the accord? Well, unless I have proof that the king wasn't involved, the talks are suspended. Ah! Sorry. <clears throat> Forgive his awkwardness. He's been insulated. And for good reason. He's slated for Pork Avenue. Pork Avenue? Oh, yes, Dr. Rampart regards his visit here as an amusing divertissement that'll pay off big back on Earth, <laughs> where he'll be treating truly important men and women. Oh, society people, great politicians. And what am I? It was just a joke here, Governor. Well, I'm afraid the governor of a remote province doesn't even qualify. Oh, what was that word you used to describe our beloved Rasta? That was taken out of context, sir. No, um, armpit. Ah! Um, and any, any, any bowel problems, nausea, sir? I, I'm, I'm having both. Just looking at you. See if you can button your shirt without calling a servant. Well, is that to say that you've finished with the exam? Oh, we'll give you something for your runny nose. Wonderful to have met you, doctor. Yes. And now. When you have some time in your busy schedule, I'd be happy to arrange a tour of our stinking armpit. That would be very nice. Thank you very much, sir. I'd even show you the keep. The keep was an ageless prison near the border of the light and dark sides. I was curious about Osh, its alien warden. I'd be meeting him in time. I've never seen you like this before. Ash, I'm worried about you. She's depressed, Morgus. I feel her, don't you understand? It's as if I carry her around within me. My lady has been depressed before. Her pain is unspeakable. She cannot bear it. This has got to stop. You're the warden of this place. This involvement has become injurious to you. But I love her, Borges. It is purely psychological. She is a prisoner here. You will lose everything. That's lovely. Flying Dutchman. The captain of the ship is doomed to travel forever until he finds a faithful woman. Right up your alley. What is it, Osh? I couldn't sleep. Would you like high tea tomorrow? Morgus will make your favorite scones. Half a millennium. You have sustained me, Warden. I don't dream anymore. Did I tell you that? Stopped 20 years ago or so. Unless this is my dream. Let me die, Ash. Set me free. Don't ask me that. Then let me out. Just for a day. You know, I cannot. Just to see the sky again. Milady. Then let me be.
You haven't answered my question, Lieutenant. Why would Governor Twist conspire to murder his own people on the eve of the accord? He's a politician, my lord. Peace is not in his interest. What do you say, my good Dr. Golfa? That hypochondriac would never order the death of a doctor, especially one who belonged to a Carter. Perhaps his men went too far. Do you know what this is, Strick? It's a Bible from the 18th century. Earth. Most beautiful. Ever heard? I'm not completely illiterate of ancient cultures and beliefs, sire. Especially those of the people that did us so much harm. A prophet called Jesu told his disciples that they would encounter terrible events before the kingdom of God could be born. Children shall rise up against their parents and shall cause them to be put to death. Why do you read this to me, sir? You are to be my son-in-law. Like all petty hunters, they like to drink after a good kill. And when they drink, they talk. Do you know them, Strike? Take a closer look. I do not. What hmm. ah! awaits? Perhaps you'd like to be their escort. Let them go with the dog keepers. The marriage shall not take place. But Lord, at least until the accord is sealed. What does one have to do with the other? Two of you were promised at birth. What can a few more weeks matter? This way we can celebrate twofold. The accord and your marriage to my daughter, Eric. And the two ladies. Oh, you've seen them since you were a tiny thing on my knee. This time it was different. It was as if they were dying. When your mother left this world, that's when you started to see them. They used to comfort you. I'm worried about father. Oh. I think he can take care of himself. Hmm? He's been game for 40 years. What's wrong with me? Oh. You're a child of Rasta. That's all. And how long will you be gone? I should be back tonight. Are you sure you don't need me to assist? Huh? I spent six months in obstetrics. I assume from your eagerness that you need a village childbirth story for the society folks. Well. Village childbirth stories aren't big. Well, I need you here at the clinic. You know, Rusty and women usually name their children after the doctor who brings them into the world. Now, that has caused me more problems than you can imagine. Ross, here, here. Good walk. And on, good sir. I hope they're twins. <laughs> Two little ladies. Good morning, sir. 
What seems to be the trouble? Stomach hurts. Mm. Got a little bit of a headache. Well, that's no fun, is it? Hmm. You're cool. I'm sorry. About the other day. Huh. Shake. Didn't know you were the new intern. Otherwise, I swear I never would have done it. Well, that's comforting. I've never met anyone quite like you before. I guess I still don't control my shifting so well. I'd never have known. Unless my mother sent me here. Dr. Okada could help me. You like him? He's an interesting fellow. Yeah, he's been very good to me. I'll tell you, shifters, they're often discriminated against. Even by doctors. No, not by good doctors. Who was that woman? The woman who came to me. Someone I knew a long time ago. You know, I felt her. I felt her on my body. And she felt like... I felt like a wife. Do you have children? No. Why do they call you never? Mother thought. She said never enough times. Stop my shifting. The name stuck. Quote the raven, nevermore. What's a raven? A dark bird. Something that flies through the sky where I'm from. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary. I used to read that to my... Um... Look, I'm, I'm gonna go get some sleep. All right. Dr. Driscoll, do ravens sleep? Yes, they do. They have sweet raven dreams. I'll see you, pal. The boy reminded me of what I'd left behind. I guess that's why I was afraid to get too close. I wanted to leave that godforsaken place and go back to Earth where I belonged. Trouble was, I didn't really belong anywhere anymore. Some of the parasite may have broken off and regenerated. What were Kata's instructions? He said nothing, sir. What do you expect me to do? We're to stabilize him until the doctor returns. Oh. Um, I treated children with intestinal worms. The godhead is no relation, sir. Nor is it scabies or head lice. No, I wrote a paper once on migrant workers in the Gorge Valley parasite. Doctor! It, it caused raspberry-shaped vesicles in the thighs and forehead. Doctor, he's dying! What? is that noise? It's coming from him, sir. Get him into surgery. Pressure soaring, 290 over 200. That's impossible. There's no time. Get the crash cart. He's seizing. We'll have to crack open the chest. I've seen this before. We must hurry. Give me the tissue gloves. Doctor, you don't know how to use them. Give me the gloves. Now. Let's go. 
come for me, sir. It's come to take me back to the grotto. Ah! This isn't working. My hands, they won't go in. Those voices won't. They shut up! It's the Sea of Tears calling for him. Should have cut him open. The parasite would have been very difficult to find. You would have found it. Well, look at it this way. Call it local color and extremis. That's not funny. No, it's not, and I'm sorry. But let's not get too morbid. Hmm? There was no hope for it. The autopsy showed egg deposits in lung and liver. Godhead eggs can be killed by a wash of nazine crystals. <laughs> You've done some reading. Why don't you show me how to use the gloves? Have you got ten years to spare, Doctor? Well, go get some sleep. In the morning we have a hard day's ride to the keep. Oh, and, and Doctor, don't you want to know how the delivery went? Hmm? How did it go? Twins. <laughs> did you name them both, Akata? Yes, one. I convinced her to call the other Driscoll. <laughs> Good night. Is he down? And out, Lieutenant. He'll sleep for a day. Listen to the royal heart. Steady as a regulator. Do it. Why not put it in his ear? The Godhead is a lazy, masochistic creature. It needs to be trod under heel and annoyed in order to fulfill its true potential. Say the word. Let him be every inch and every foot a king. After three months, I saw my first execution. The dark and light signs were doing all they could to hold their fragile peace together. Ward Nosh had his own ideas of justice and of mercy. Barbaric laws of this place demand my presence during executions, but you don't have to watch. I'm sure it'll be anecdotal. Great ladies will catch your fall. Well, they are the ones who catch us all. Their children kept them far apart. The lady light, the lady dark. Dark broken, light storm. Dead spoken, dreams tall. And we will bring you home. Let us now begin.
Marcus, the keep hound seemed almost playful. Frolicsome is the word I'd use, sir. Who's the Rottweiler? <laughs> Morgus? <laughs> Quite brilliant, actually. Speaks over a hundred languages. Wonderful musician, too. Has a marvelous singing voice. <laughs> what does he do here? He's one of Osh's trusted companions. Well, they're all Osh's trusted companions. I don't understand. He's devolving. In a century or so, he'll be doing the executions himself. You mean he's going to be one of those things? That's his destiny, yes. She waits for you. Akada. My lady. You never come see me anymore. The clinic keeps me awfully busy. Who is this? Oh, my new intern, Driscoll Rampart. It's so nice to see a new face. <laughs> the handsome one at that. <laughs> <laughs> Laughable, isn't it? <laughs> me visited by doctors. As if anything could go wrong with my health. You're still subject to illness. But I just can't die. Doctor's dream. Can I get you something? Water, wine, nicely aged. <laughs> Thank you. The warden says you're having trouble sleeping. That creature has far too much free time. <laughs> Let's have a look at you. Draw some blood, please. You're from Earth, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. I can always tell a boy from Earth. I've read about you. You're Lady X. The woman in the history books. They say I was responsible for the plague on Earth. A lie. How old are you? Just draw the blood, please. I've been here for 500 years. My sentence is 5,000. Ouch! I'm sorry. <laughs> Be gentle with me. It's a while since I've been poked. <laughs> Do you know what it's like to live forever? I can't imagine. For the first few decades, you're in shock. And then, after 60 years or so, time you might have had a natural death. It only begins to sink in. You will live on. I'm truly sorry, my lady, for everything. I'd tear this place down if I could. I know you would, Akata. Maybe that day will come. It's been good meeting you, my lady. Please come see me again. Put on the record on the way out. Here, sir. You'll make another. Another? I'm not so sure.
Sir, how is it that that woman, Lady X, stays alive? Osh secretes an unusual enzyme. It gives immunity to the aging process itself. How does he transmit it? Directly into the mouth, like oh. a mother with his chick. Oh, how often? You, Doc, you are perverse. Every 10 years or so seems to be sufficient. You seem to know them all so well. There's an intimacy. I've done my share of time. Well, you make it sound like you're a prisoner. 20 years. <laughs> you are kidding. Aren't you? Never here he comes. You gotta ask him. Let me just go. I gotta tell you something. Me and the twins were, um, were talking about... Spit it out, Never. What he wants to know, sir, is... May he change into an animal? He yeah. certainly may not. Oh, please, sir, please. That's not for play, pal. We never have any fun. Zuzu, you are. <laughs> Where is Dr. Okada? The Davids have come from the dark side. Who are they? They call them Davids. They're eunuchs. The only ones allowed to move freely between the light and the dark. The king is ill. Princess Ariel has asked you to come. At once. I'll get my bag. Let me go with you. I'll be fine, sir. The marshal will look after us. Well, without delay. I told you not to shift. It weakens you. Do you want to get sick? Change right now. Do you hear me? Dr. Driscoll, I'm up here. Nice, kitty. Don't move. That's a pummix. They're mesmerized by the human voice. If you get their attention, that is, and I think we have his. So you'll forgive me, doctor, if I seem a little verbose, because if I stop talking, I'm afraid he might rip your throat out. Oh, God. I will sing its death song. Pummix is indigenous to the dark side, and their meat is highly prized by hunters. They only come to the light when they are sick, are wounded, and ready to die. Oh, please keep talking, sir. On the way to the Dark Side Castle, the Davids explained to me how Akata had learned to take life away with his very breath. The Pummocks had died without pain, or so they said. It doesn't make sense that he's worsened. He's had twice the normal dosage. That drug of yours couldn't kill a diaper rash, let alone the Godhead. The Godhead? But how is that possible, sir? Ah. Oh. Oh. Idiot. How could you have misdiagnosed? Oh. Oh. We can help oh. him. Oh. Oh. With the man at the clinic. He's much younger. Besides, it's in at the heart, like a bite. Here you are. I'm here, Father. Father. I came. Some days ago, on a hunt, I wounded a box. Bad omen. 
It found its way to me, sir. You killed it? Yes. Father, let them help you, please. <laughs> Busy laying eggs, isn't it? Is there nothing you can do? It must have the brain. Then you must end it, sir. Mercifully. No! I am a wounded bummox. Take me. I cannot lose my father. We cannot lose our king. Here, friend. My mind must be clear when I meet the two ladies. I will not have it become a breeding ground. Take me. No, God, I don't. I will not let you. Goodbye, my beautiful princess. <laughs> don't leave me, Father. <laughs> Paths of glory lead but to the grave. <laughs> You sent for me, Lieutenant? Yes. I wanted to share a drink with you. It's been a long day, and I'm tired. Yeah, but a drink is what you need, sir. I don't think so. You're not pouting, are you? No need to worry about your life side reputation. The death of King Joyce will be neatly blamed on the Dark's crude facilities, not on the skills of Akata, legendary surgeon of Lilac Province. Reputation is your obsession, Lieutenant, not mine. No, oh. no, not you. You who manufactured the myth of the great Hakata. Maggoty cultist who emerged a butterfly from the chrysalis of the keep. You're still competing with me, aren't you? When I was a boy, I wanted to be you. How unhappy you stayed yourself. When you were sent away, our town sang songs about you. And through the years, we kept hearing disturbing reports from the keep that you had forgotten the struggle, forgotten the dead. When you were pardoned, your decision to live in the light came as no surprise. How could the king have read you so wrongly? Uh, he was a sentimental peacemonger. He wanted to be crucified like this character in his favorite earth legend. You killed him. The godhead did that. You put it in his leg. Mind of your accusations, doctor. That parasite comes from the Dreaming Sands grotto. The presence this side of the wall is not unheard. You have killed the king, and I will sting you for Careful, it. Careful, healer. I control this place now, and it's coming and going. Then I'm going to bed, with your permission. The only thing that sets us apart is your lack of vision. Without vision, what are you, Akata? Just another country doctor with delusions of grandeur and a shady past. You're like a child. I know you are pleasantly exhausted from seeing the king succumb. You'll get yours. Oh, we're alike that way. We both enjoy the whiff of blood. Why, even the great Hakata must confess to the secret thrill of a surgery gone bad. Did I startle you? It's 
all right. I couldn't sleep. I think all of Rusta must be awake. Do you wish to be alone? Should I go? Stay. Your Honor, uh, your Princess. What am I supposed to call you? Ariel. Ariel. I'm doing my internship at the clinic. I heard he was a very great man. Your father. Who did not see peace in his time. If Akata couldn't save my father, no one could. <laughs> Those two, they were... They were always at each other's throats. I thought they were great friends. Yes, but not until after my father sentenced him to the keep. The king imprisoned Akata? The odd thing is, the fate might have easily made Akata the king. Your princess, um, Ariel. Where I'm from, a girl like you exists only in storybooks. Is that good or bad? Oh, no, that's, that's, that's very good. Thank you for trying to help my father. Good luck, my princess. I will see you again. The two ladies tell me so. The dark side had done something to me. If the eyes are windows to the soul, Mine felt a little like stained glass. I was no longer an innocent bystander in this brave new world. Well, they'll be normal in a day or so. What happened? Oh, call it Shadowland heterochromia. This world is polarized, Doctor. It constantly divides and conquers. Into haves and have-nots. Mm -hmm. Still, it's a bit odd. Something we usually see only in natives. You're not going native on me, are you, Doctor? I can sure hear the drums. <laughs> we'll meet again. What? Hmm? Yeah. We'll meet again, she said. The two ladies tell me so. <laughs> oh, I feel great. You know, I think I'm gonna go out, slay myself a dragon and marry a princess. <laughs> That's going a bit far, even for Pork Avenue. Not to hell with Pork Avenue. <laughs> can I ask you something personal? That's an impossibility. The princess said that the king, her father, was the one who sent you to the keep. Thank you. What did you do? I tried to right all wrongs against the dark side. I, that was in another life. I did terrible, terrible crimes. Osh took me in hand and Morgus. They showed me awesome things. Like how you killed that animal. Yes. To this day, I don't know why they took me on, but eventually they became a family. Perhaps it was my destiny. Just as it was the destiny of that pummix to be wounded by the king, and what's the matter? Just when you mentioned family. Ah, homesick? That day that I first arrived, and never changed into that woman. She was my wife. I was in my last year at med school, and I was working on a cadaver. I was exposed to something exotic. I passed it on. I recovered, but they didn't. They, my wife and son. I am sorry. Um, my eyes, the syndrome that you mentioned, are prodromal hallucinations part of it? You've been having hallucinations? No, no, I mean, it's probably just a dream. No, no, what kind of hallucinations? I've been seeing two women. One dressed in white, the other dark, and their eyes. You have seen the two ladies. I've what? I guess you're just lucky that way, Driscoll. They don't show themselves to everyone, you know. No, I don't feel so lucky, okay? 
See, I've heard all the myths. I've seen all the icons. This is just the power of suggestion. Now, this is a sentient place, Doctor. And it's beginning to have its way. There may be hope for you yet. <laughs> Listen to Golfer. He's a liar. I know you murdered my father. The two ladies tell Don't me. Don't two so. ladies me. I plan to kiss like you planted a godhead. And through the centuries it will worm its way and blossom in your brain. Now get thee to the keep. Where is the guard who will take me? Hmm? Where is the guard who will take me? Lieutenant, the Keephounds don't like to be kept waiting. What's the matter? Did you think we had forever? <laughs> What's this all about? His mother sent him a letter. He's going home? She wants him to stay indefinitely. She can't even come to visit him for at least a year. Did we know about this? She didn't bother to tell us. Mad woman. Dr. O'Connor! Never. Stay away from me. Dr. Cuddy won't stop. Go inside. Uh, it's okay, pal. You don't love me. No one loves me. He's been shifting uncontrollably since you got that letter. We want to help you, Never. Oh! Oh, the two ladies. Never. Now listen to Dr. Briscoe. Back at on a midnight fury, while I ponder, weak and weary. Quoth the raven, Nevermore. Yes, protein fever. They can run as high as 110 degrees. He's been shifting in his sleep for days. It's gradually weakened him. Why won't Mother come for me? And why don't you love me, Driscoll? But I do. I do love you, Never. And why did you kill me like you did and leave Earth? Why did you kill me and our sweet little son? Come back to us, Never. I am gonna, gonna make, make you love me. Never. I want you to listen to Dr. Driscoll. I'll show you all of you. I'm gonna make you love me to death. I can't help you unless you listen to me. Now. Get away from him. I'm not gonna lose you, Never. I won't. Let's get him inside. I should be back there helping Never. Akata is with him. We're almost there. What's the point of all this? To save that little boy. How? By wading in like Sunday bathers? My God, how beautiful. But why is it so red? It's rust as blood. They say the waves slap against the shore to the rhythm of her heart. So you've done this before? No, but my grandmother used to tell me stories. She said the calling of the sick is only for the most extreme cases. I don't understand. People were afraid that if they came too often, the sea would grow used to the human voice and decide to keep its dead. Do you really believe that we can help him? Yes. But do you, sir? If you do not, your voice is useless and will join the song of death.
You aren't actually going in, are you? It only works in the water. You're a nurse. You know better. I know nothing. Oh, 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 this is madness. We're calling you, Never. Never come back to us. Never. Well, I suppose ritual has its place even in the most sophisticated of cultures. That would be a great story. No. He has too much life ahead of him. I cannot have that boy die on me. I will not have that boy die on me. Never! I was coming to the end of my short term on Rusta. Somehow six months felt like a lifetime. Legend has it that the sacred two ladies were sisters, forever separated by the Great Wall. Now, I wasn't quite a believer, but I did thank them when I saw the boy. Look, Susie, it's never. Thank them with all my heart. Welcome home. Dr. Akata, we called his name. Never, you're alive. Never, you're OK. We called your name. Welcome back, little boy blue. Shabana. Driscoll. Let me do a pal. I'm okay, sir. Sir? Huh? Tea time. Oh. Know any card games, Lieutenant? Keep away from me. Morgus knows hundreds, don't you, Morgus? In all humility, I know nearly a thousand. Filthy talking dog. I'm certain as a conversationist, your skills shall improve. You shan't be without the time. Shall we begin? Bastard. Oh, come. It's not all that painful. Probably on par with a nasty parasite. You'll pass out anyway. Uh, I haven't had a trial yet. Oh, be brave, Lieutenant. Besides, there's still triumph in outliving one's enemies. And you will outlive them all. So don't fret. The first few hundred years are the worst. Then the centuries just fly. Uh, by all means, drop out the clinic and I'll surgically remove your corset. This is a historic day. I'll uh, overlook your insolence. And how are your ethnographic studies going? I uh, hope our crude peace ritual didn't disappoint. On the contrary, your governorship. In my short time here, I found Rusta to be an enlightened place. Its light side ruled by the gentle hand of a giant. Please, forgive my arrogance. Certainly. And if I may, I'd like to visit the hacienda when his governorship has a free moment for a complete physical examination. I 
respectfully disagree with my mentor's assessment of your ills being corset-related. Your discomfiture may, in fact, be pre-ulcerous. Oh, symptomatic of a delicate, mm -hmm. nay, exquisite constitution. If you'll excuse me, I would like to congratulate the princess. <gasps> You've worked wonders with it. I wanted to offer you my best wishes. Your presence here honors me. You look so beautiful in the light. It's a bit like being naked in front of strangers. No need to be shy. I am a doctor. <laughs> well, now that you've broken the ice, perhaps you'll come and see us again. Broken the ice? Um, you stuck your toe in the water. <laughs> You're a baffling man, Driscoll. Your associate speaks in riddles. <laughs> That's what makes him such a fine doctor. The coach is ready, my queen. I wish I had more time. Then why not come with us? Yes, come. Where? Hmm? Where? <laughs> I'm visiting old friends. They're having a picnic at the Sea of Tears. Yes. My God, it's 500 years since she's been outside that jail. Why are they here? Ash promised. He said he'd take her for a day at the sea. He's risking his life. Why doesn't he take her away to another world? Oh, there'd be no place in this universe they could hide. Besides, once they were caught, he'd lose her. How she must hate him for keeping her alive. She can't afford to hate him. He's her only friend. And after all, Osh didn't sentence her. They're linked forever. Does she know he loves her? I couldn't imagine what kind of bond exists between them now. There are prisoners, and there are prisoners. Their children kept them far apart. The Lady Light, the Lady Dark. Dark broken, light storm, dead spoken, dreams torn. And we will bring you home. Thank you, Kada. Goodbye, Ariel. May the two ladies be with you. I, uh... I hope that we, you know, um... Goodbye. <laughs> Ariel, wait! Will I see you again? You're not afraid of the dark. Don't be too harsh on me and your memoirs. Hope you don't mind if I say that you slashed a few umbilical cords with your teeth, sir. Mind? I insist.
Goodbye, Zaza. Goodbye. You take care of yourself. It was a privilege meeting you, Zuzu. I miss you an awful lot. I miss you too, sir. We shall miss you, Doctor. Thank you, Shabana. I won't forget you. You showed me Rusta's heart. I wanted to give you this. What is it? My grandmother gave it to me when I was a girl. It's a book of stories about this place. You'd probably call them fairy tales. I probably would. Thanks. Don't cry. I'm not. You're the bravest boy I've ever known. Can't go with you. I have to go home. Will you come back? Yeah, I will. But how do you know that? Because the two ladies tell me so. sad, but he didn't shift. That's a very good sign. He was a tough kid. shouldn't have any trouble spotting our new intern. He's the one who looks rocket-lagged and omnipotent. I'll see to it he gets in the coach, sir. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. When you get home, would you do me a favor? What's that, sir? We've never seen a sunset. The whole lot of us. Take a good look at one and write us a letter. Tell us all about it. You can count on it. They say you can't go home again. Well, I tried. I went back to Earth and started a practice in Manhattan. I made sure never to miss a sunset. But I kept dreaming of Rusta and remembering the people I'd grown to love. Remembering the only time in my life I felt truly alive. same road I traveled a year ago. I've hardly been away, but feel like a kid coming home for Christmas. <laughs> I wonder what the two ladies have in store for me. My New York friends thought it was crazy to come back, but you know what I think? They're just afraid of the dark. where you reach into someone's chest cavity as well. If I could just learn how to do that, Pork Avenue would be mine. <laughs> we'll begin a lesson at once. 